I'm still caught in my same ways. I'm losing time. Coming from a dysfunctional family, we also came from a family of, uh, like I said, a, a, from Italian background, island background, so lots of love in the family, but, you know, as little kids, you still knew that something was, wasn't right. But, um, anyways, my uncle and my aunt had uh, split up, and um, he went off, and in his own world, basically on the verge of suicide, um, you know, God led him to a church, a San Diego church, uh, Mike McIntosh, the old uh, Horizon in yeah. a theater downtown. No more. Well. That's right, man. And um, anyways, the Lord spoke to him, his heart and, and basically challenged him and, and he ended up giving his life to the Lord. And um, anyways, uh, my mother was diagnosed with cancer and uh, eight months later she would um, go and be with the Lord. But through that whole time, I got a chance to really watch her live um, her faith and trust in God and believe in Him. Um, and it was real because I knew that, you know, she was sick and that's what, she loved her family, but I knew that, you know, her love for God was was enormous, you know. Um, you know, that afternoon, my family basically forced me to leave the hospital and go get cleaned up and take a shower and drive back home because I had been there all week, you know. And um, on my way out to, to the parking lot, you know, <clears throat> I was just, uh, you know, doing my thing, and and I finally, you know, just got on my knees in the parking lot, and I asked God if, you know, I said, Lord, if you take my mom away from me, then, you know, there's either two options for me. That's either I'm going to trust in you and believe that your will is perfect and that you're going to help me to make sense of this, or... I'm just going to go the opposite way completely and say the heck with, mm. with it all and continue to live and do what I want to do and do whatever makes me happy, you know. And um, <clears throat> But God softened my heart and I, I really needed to know why, you know, someone like my mom and, you know, I just wanted to know why. And uh, anyways, I knew the sinner's prayer, you know. I asked that God would forgive me of my sins. I said he would come into my life and uh, make things new. And uh, I went home. I showered up. I came back. <clears throat> I went into the hospital room and then, uh, you know, I, I knelt next to my mom and, uh, you know, I, I whispered in her ears. I told her to go and be with Jesus because, uh, you know, I was cool. <laughs> I was going to be good, you know. You know, everybody was lined up out the hallway trying to be strong. And, I remember running down and Wolf running behind me and I walked in and, you know, you know, I just knelt down uh, next to her and uh, and I was grateful at the time because, uh, you know, I'd only been saved for a short moment, but, uh, God was already faithful. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> mm. she uh, she went to be with the Lord, and I was I was thankful. And uh, at that point, you know, I had, I remember the going to the funeral and stuff, and I had you know went up to my uh, my uncle Noah, who kind of started the whole. Jesus chain reaction in the family and you uh, know it was during the mass and stuff and I you know I leaned over to him and I told him do you know that I gave my life to the Lord I'm like hey he says yeah no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.